Hi guys! To see what went wrong and why half of my hair burned off from bleaching, keep watching! Okay, this is round two of bleaching. Yeah, and I sectioned off the, these two parts of my hair because they are the most dry. So we're gonna do these last. And I had one more part that was dry. Let's see. Oh, this part and this part of my hair and this side. So we're sectioning all these pieces off to do last. And this time we are aiming to just bleach it as white as possible without making all my hair fall out. So that- No guarantees. <laughs> <laughs> no guarantees. It's not what we want. We're gonna do everything we can to not let that happen. So if you don't mind, I'm gonna pass you these. I'm just oh, gonna yeah. do tiny slices. So when my hair or anyone's hair is white, it will soak in the gray or silver color and the browner spots that I had. Yep. And the browner spots that I had, or the browner highlights that I had, will not soak in the gray at all. So we're just gonna go for it. And that's why I cut my hair. I just posted a video on cutting my hair and it's probably going to get cut a lot more throughout my gray transitioning journey. Today we're using the V-Lite, the Violet Based Bleach with 30 volume developer and Olaplex that will bring it down to 20. All right, so we just rinsed out and we got it to a perfect color. And I wanna show you guys that breakage happens. This is the breakage that I just had. So I want you to know this can happen. So it's a risk that you take. I still have a lot of hair on there. <laughs> Definitely. And so I was thinking that when I first started this journey and started doing the first bleaching of my hair, everyone was trying to talk me out of doing a full bleach like what I'm doing now. And so I kind of got scared and I didn't do it. And as you can see in my last video, we just went with the safe way we did highlights. But the brown or the, the darker highlights in my hair would not pick up the gray. So. Ultimately, I wasn't happy with the final results trying to keep it toned because of the darker streaks. That's why this time I decided to bleach my whole entire head. And if I had listened to myself in the first place, we only would have had to do this bleach one time instead of all those highlights and now three weeks later doing this bleach again. And this probably would not have happened. So trust your inst instincts, trust your gut, and just keep in mind that this is a risk that you are going to have some breakage if you bleach your hair out to this color. So I'm soaking it in Olaplex right now and then we will do the toner. Okay, so I washed the Olaplex out after a half an hour and I used shampoo and conditioner and here is the final total of hair loss that we have so far. You 
could probably make a wig out of this and it just, what happens when you over bleach your hair is it just breaks off in different sections of your hair. And that's what happened to me. I still have a lot of hair. So what I did is I just cool dried my hair just a little bit because I'm going to now apply the toner and I didn't want it dripping wet, but still just a little bit damp. So for toner, I'm going to use three colors. I'm going to use the Ion Color Brilliance Brights, and I'm going to mix the colors Storm, Titanium, and Slate. So this is all three colors. And I'm going to take a tube of conditioner that I used to use when I used box color on my hair. This is the L'Oreal Excellence Cream Conditioner number three. And I just squeeze the whole tube of conditioner in there. Now I'm just going to mix it all together. So you can actually see here where some of the breakage was in my hair. See those short pieces falling down? It'll make nice layers. So what I'm gonna do is just take sections of my hair and I'm going to kind of work just on this part of my hair first. And I'm just gonna use my hand to apply it. Okay, I'm gonna mix two more colors. Well, Hubby's gonna help me here. And what are we mixing? Slate and titanium? Yep. Okay, slate and titanium. All right, I'm gonna let this sit for a half an hour and then wash and condition. Okay, all done. So this is the final hair loss. It's a lot of hair, it's shocking, but this is the risk that I took when I did this. And I haven't even seen it yet, but I know that I still have some hair on my head and I'm happy. I'm happy I took this risk. I am going to let my hair dry and I will be back after I style it. So here, it's all the hair loss that I had. Literally more hair than most people even have on their head. I knew this was a risk when I decided to bleach my hair for the second time in three weeks. And if any of you saw my first video where I was transitioning into gray hair, I decided to highlight my hair and tone it silver but it kind of looked muddy because there were still not enough light spots in my hair. So of course I got impatient and three weeks later, which was yesterday, I had Kelly come back and talked her into bleaching my whole entire head. And if I can save anyone from bleaching half their hair off, I will tell you do not bleach over already bleached hair. I believe that every single piece of my hair, as you can see back here, I didn't create this nice shag hairdo here. The burning of my hair created this. So I have all these pieces that literally just burned off my head. Like they broke off and just burned off my head.
and all of the pieces that I had highlighted three weeks ago literally just gave in. They just said, bye, I've had enough, and they just broke off. And as I was washing the bleach out, this is what I was looking down at in the drain. It was just <laughs> coming off and I was staying calm and I was almost laughing about it. My daughter actually FaceTimed me right after I had bleached my hair and I had it up in a towel and I said, I have to show you something. And I, I went like this into the FaceTime video and she's like, oh my God, mom, do you have any hair left? She's like, let me see your hair right now. And I'm like, no, just wait until I fix it. She's like, no, show it to me now. So I took the towel off my hair and it was like just fried. And actually, if you like touch this hair, you can feel where it was burned. It's almost like somebody like took a torch and burned my hair. So I was so shocked to hear my daughter say, mom, your hair is your life. And I said, what? My hair is one of the least important things to me in my life. My life is so much more precious than my hair. And was I happy that half my hair burned off? Of course not. I definitely was not happy, but I totally stayed calm. I wasn't freaking out. Honestly, I just wanted to cut my hair off because I could not stand touching it. It was just fried. It just felt disgusting and my husband I was actually sitting here looking in the mirror holding the scissors and he's like don't do it just wait till it dries wait till tomorrow and I'm like I can't I can't and he got really stern he's like don't cut your hair just wait and I'm like okay I'm like thank you for telling me not to cut my hair because I'm very all or nothing I just like do things if I feel like oh my god my hair is burnt I have to cut it off so that is one of the amazing things about my relationship with my husband and I is that we balance each other out so my all or nothing attitude and his like just chill and wait a minute ends up working so what I did last night after this happened and my hair was still wet and it was just completely fried. I just put, I ran a bunch of coconut oil through my hair. I used argan oil. What else did I use? And I put in some of my Paul Mitchell Super Skinny Serum, which really calms my hair down and that's always what I use before I blow dry it. However, since I have burned most of my hair off, I will not go near any heating tools. No hair dryer, no flat iron, no curling iron, nothing. So when I went to bed last night, I was thinking, okay, this is really the only thing that's bothering me is that I can't style my hair and I'm not going to leave it just like this big burned frizzy mess. So I slept on it and when I got up this morning and looked in the mirror, I grabbed my scissors and I just started trimming off the little burned pieces that were sticking out of my hair. Remembering what my husband said, don't cut your hair off. So I was going very slow and only cutting off the parts of my hair that absolutely had to be cut off. I mean, they were just singed and frizzed off and it just looks so bad. So then I grabbed my shea butter and this is Sky Organics 100% Organic Unrefined Ivory Shea Butter moisturizing butter for hair skin DIY projects, Sky Organics Body Butter Collection. And the ingredients are 100% pure organic grade A Ivory Unrefined Shea Butter. I got this on Amazon to use like on the dry spots of my body. I'll link the exact seller that I got it from below. I can't even explain what it smells like. It's not pretty and flowery and, and scented at all. It's totally pure. It's amazing for your skin and for your hair. So what I did is, and it's very hard. It's like hard like a rock. So I just scooped out a little bit like this and I melted it in my hands and it completely disappears. And I just started pulling it through my hair and it completely transformed my hair. Now, does my hair look incredibly healthy right now? No, definitely not. But I am absolutely so happy with the results so far, only on the first day of putting all of these oils in my hair and calming it down. 
So this puts like a layer of fat almost and just coats your hair so it stays put, it calms the frizzies down. It's the most amazing thing if you have fried damaged hair. Then I was thinking, okay, there has to be a way to style my hair, whether I can get it straighter and, and more smooth, or I can get some kind of a, like a wave or a curl to it just to smooth it out more and give it like some kind of a style. So I had remembered that I bought this Conair Hot Tools Professional Conditioning Steam Setter. And this is warm moisturizing steam that actually heats your hair and it's got the curlers in there and I bought it and I never used it because I always used my curling iron but this is the answer like this completely transformed my hair into like this cute little style I was able to take these really broken pieces back here and I just kind of like curled them under the next time I wash my hair which will not be for a while I'm just going to let it relax for over a week for sure but the next time that i wash it i will take you through my whole entire process and you will be able to see how severely burnt my hair is and when i take it from that burnt dry frizzy crispy hair to at least a style that i can feel comfortable wearing and not want to cut all my hair off so the million dollar question am i glad i did this or do i regret it I'm glad I did it. The only thing that I regret is that I didn't listen to myself in the first place when I wanted to completely bleach my hair out before I had highlighted it and everyone was trying to talk me out of it saying you're gonna burn your hair off, which this would not have happened anywhere near the severity if I had done this full bleaching the first time. All of this breakage is definitely because of the bleach over the bleach. There were so many highlights in my hair that were already white and I just bleached over the whole entire thing. So those white pieces are what gave me all of this breakage. All the highlights just broke off. That is the only thing I regret is I wish I had listened to myself in the beginning, but I always find something positive out of everything that happens in my life. So I look at it like if I can save even one person from burning their hair off, I'm happy. I'll take one for the team. And I will be doing a lot of videos how to take care of dry, damaged, burned off hair, how to trim the split ends, what products to use on it. Like I said, I'll show you how I curl my hair with absolutely no heat. Now I'm just counting down the days until my natural gray finally completely grows out and I can have my virgin hair back again and it'll be nice and healthy. Thank you so much for watching you guys. Bye!